What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Skyrim Falscar and today we're gonna go on into uh, that little city we saw earlier. What was it? Uh, Borvald. Okay, cool. It's gonna be a very, very long ride. Um, not our longest, but one of the longer ones. Shouldn't be that horrible though. Okay, I'm just about there. As a quick tip, if you're welcome, looking to get there really quick, you don't enjoy long rides, Fast travel to the armory we were just at a few episodes ago, and make your short way north from there. That'll make your sh your trip a lot shorter. I think we just gotta go up here? Yeah, it's looking like it. Let's go up this winding path. So, how's your weekend been going? It's I think it's the weekend. <laughs> I am completely off when it comes to what day it is. Oh my god, I'm so screwed up. It's just, I haven't needed to know what day it is, because it's been more about dates than the day of the week. Regardless, how has your day been going? How's your week been going? Anything you're looking forward to? I'd like to know. Let's see what this guy has to say. Goran. in lockdown by Yal Valfred's order. What makes you think I'd like you in? <laughs> nope. Due to increased banded activity, Yal Valfred has ordered that nobody other than residents may enter. And you don't live here, so get lost. The city is in lockdown by Yal Valfred's order. What makes you think I'd let you in? I have news from Agnar that must be delivered to Jarl Valfred immediately. Hmm. Very well. I'll show you to Jarl Valfred. Follow me, please. We have a visitor for Jarl Valfred. Open the gates. So my horse isn't allowed in? Follow me. He doesn't bite. I promise. You know what I just realized? There was no open the gate loading screen being here. Don't tell me that the whole game is rendered out without loading screens, because that's insane. I mean, Skyrim, come on. Skyrim has, doesn't have that. Gee, that's insane. There, there was no loading screens or anything, we're just in here. Just follow this dude then. One thing I don't understand is the run is too fast compared to their walking, but the walking is too slow. I just want to be at the same pace that he is. Why can't they respect that? It would be so lore friendly. <laughs> I sound like a total nerd right now. Where'd he go? He's right there. So, in other news, um, we're gonna be starting a few new uh, series this week. It's Sunday now that I think about it. So yeah, it's the start of a new week, and in like two days, I I bring back a project I was doing before. I won't spoil anything just for the sake of excitement, but it was something I was doing before I took a four month break, and now I'm gonna get started on doing it back again, and that'll be fun and. Awesome and stuff. You'll see, be seeing that from like one to two day, days from now. But thank you for everyone who's supported me so far. The channel's been growing really well so lately, and I really, really appreciate that. Okay, let's go inside then. It's not letting me open the door. Oh, well, that's weird. Am I supposed to just go around? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm Yal Valfred. Is there something I can help you with? I figured that's what was happening. I've had my city sealed because these damn bandits are everywhere and killing my people. It would be Ingvar. Damned Unvaldir is up to something again. Can't they just leave us be? You said he was looking for something. Do you know what? Hmm. I don't like what this implies. I think I may know what he's after, but I don't want to jump to conclusions. Especially not this one. Yal Valfred, sir. The city is under siege. It's the bandits. They've breached the gates. Damn it! We don't have much time. Goran, grab our weapons and let's go. Already have them. Ingvar has the nerve to attack my city. This is certainly the start of another damn war. You have to go and tell Agma. Ingvar is either desperate for power, or has already a lot of it. We have to get you out of the city so you can get help from Agna. Let's go. All right. Looks like we have to fight our way out then. Got to uh, follow Jarl Valfred out of the city. Okay. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. Are they going to be fighting within this city? Oh, it's... Whoa! They're going crazy. Oh, jeez. 
no! I don't know which ones are nice and... Oh, oh, well, they're all attacking me, so I guess they are bad. Get out of here, sir. You're a cat just like me. Why would you hit me? You're so mean. Wow, whoa! Whoa, are they just blowing things up? Holy crap. Yeah, they're, they're plummeting the city. That is sort of cool, though. I've never seen that effect in Skyrim. Is this something that happens in the main game, too? Where they have, like, things attacking you? That's so cool! Where are we going, guys? This way it is. Are we going the right way? Oh, what happened down here? Oh! <laughs> okay, then. I guess we gotta sneak our way out of the city while it's being under attack, under siege. Oop, here's more bandits. <laughs> These guys don't seem like very good bandits. There you go. The gate's done. We'll have to go. Crips. There's a secret. Don't really feel like getting anything. Let's go. Alright, then I guess we gotta take another exit. Is he remembering where the exit is? <laughs> Guy's silly. He just never wants to make up his mind on where he wants to go. It's like, can we stop at my house first? Alright then, we're just gonna keep on moving. <laughs> Where is he going now? So we're going back Not down here. I wasn't trying to chat with you. I'm just waiting for you to not stand still, buddy. Okay. Careful. I can't move, you're in my way. What's in here? Alright, well, if the city's under attack, I think I'll just take my time and take every bit of gold I can find. Cause you know I like gold. There's a lot of it in here too. Holy crap. So I'm guessing this is some type of like dungeon area. Stop saying I don't want any following you in. I'll stay behind and hold them off. Alright then, so we don't have to worry about them coming from behind. Very well then. We should go if we don't want his death to be in vain. You're not very faithful in him if you assume he's gonna die. Jeez, what a jerk. Oh well, let's just keep going through. Hopefully we find some things to kill. The bandits were fun, but I want more. I have a lust for killing things and grabbing their loot. I haven't played the game within the last few days, so... Oh jeez. Yeah, there's already bandits down here, left in the looks of it. Okay then. He's gonna loot everything then. This reminds me a lot of the um, dungeon, one of the first dungeons you have in Skyrim. This is a design of it. it, looks really, really similar. The, uh, I forget what it's called, but it's where you can Dragon Claw. Or the Golden Claw. One of the two. <laughs> and it looks incredibly similar to that, but instead of the undead being in here, you have bandits. One thing I haven't talked about that much that I'm incredibly, incredibly excited, excited for is the Skyrim MMO, or more specifically the Elder Scrolls MMO. And I haven't really talked about it because of how little it's in development. I don't even think it's scheduled to come out until like 2015. Hopefully I'm still doing videos then so I can show it off. That would be fabulous. Um, but really, I'm excited for it. I I know it's a very far time away, but I am sort of a fan of MMOs. I've played MMOs throughout my life here or there, but I've never been like a serious MMO dedicated person. But I've played things like, simple things like RuneScape did things like Guild Wars 2, and it's always really fun. So I thought that, you know, a full Skyrim MMO would be great, and from what people are seeing that I've played it first hand, and that have gotten some gameplay shown to me, um, it looks amazing, and... Jeez! Jeez, I'm gonna take some. Looking for a door, he's right in front of him. But I thought this game could have been so cool with some type of cooperative mode, and I've seen some mods that take up that idea, but none that perfect it, from my knowledge. Not only that, but just having that experience when it's fully directed to multiplayer, 
seems like just amazing and an amazing idea that I feel like will flow well, and I cannot wait to see it within the next few years. Ooh, nice. By the divines, what is that? You two are too late if you're here to stop me. The key is mine. Ifar will get the heart of the gods, and he will rule all of you. Of course. The heart of the gods. Ingvar must have found it. That's what he's looking for. Oh, sorry. Oh. Well, that's interesting, and that was sort of a change to the plot of it, I guess. Where are we going now, Jarl? I think up here. Okay. Oh, who's that? Is that another bandit? Oh, it's like, what do we have here? Okay, <laughs> just kill him really quick. All right, there's more bandits, easy to kill. Um, I could light everything on fire if I want. <laughs> no, you don't. Dead. I mean, I could do that. Blow, up, blow, up, blow up. Name. Come on. Name. All right, let's go to the hold. We have to keep moving. Okay, where are we moving? What? Oh. We have to keep moving. To where? This is it. The way out of here. Now go on. You have to jump. It's the only way you'll survive. Tell Agna that Ingvar's going for the heart of the gods. He'll understand. Now I'll hold these guys off for as long as I can. Now jump. All right then, if I have to. Cannonball! <laughs> All right then. That was interesting. That was pretty fun too. That was creative. Jump off into the river, or you die. All right, now we're heading off into um, to tell Agnar that Borvold has been attacked. Obviously, some big news. Can get to him. I need to find my horse, so where's my horse? Gotta get my horse. Okay, so if I fast travel, my horse shows up. That's nice. I'm happy to know that. Because I would be devastated if I lost my grand horse. Now I'm supposed to just go right here. Agnar, talk to Agnar. Hit him up with the info that peeps be attacking the village. Yeah, just go on in. Should be interesting enough. Alright, he seems to be in here. Sleeping again every time, sleeping on the job. Have you spoken to Walfred yet? What? That son of a... Did you talk to Walfred before the attack? He... He has found the heart, then. We've been searching for hundreds of years. Long ago, when we came to this land, our people were dying. The whole island was rigid and freezing cold. It is now known as Olaf's journey. During it, he met an avatar of shore named Achring Being, who tore out its heart and gave it to Olaf. He used it to transform the southern half of Falskar into the warm, habitable region it is today. It was watched over by five guardians until the transformation was complete. The heart was no longer needed, so to keep it safe, the five guardians sealed it in a chamber somewhere in the mountains. You need five keys to get in. The keys are of leadership, wealth, wisdom, strength, and shelter. If he attacked Borwald, it was undoubtedly to get one of those keys. Please, have a seat in the main room, and I'll call a meeting to inform the others. All right. 
So I guess we gotta do a meeting. Come in here and have a seat. We have a problem. I think I'm in a seat. Find another seat, buddy. Oh, I can't. It's my seat. I sat here first. Yes, it was necessary. He's stealing my seat. What's wrong, Agnar? Ingvar has attacked Borwald. What? Why are we sitting here then? We must go help defend Borwald. Gentlemen, it is too late. He has too many men. We would simply be marching to our death. Orwald is lost. That son of a bitch! Our ancestors built that town 600 years ago. He has destroyed a part of our history. It's just like you to get about stupid buildings. What about those living in the city? Stupid buildings? Certainly many innocent people died today. They are who? Please. We must not do this. Ingvar has killed many of our innocent kinsmen, as well as destroying our heritage. Why would he do such a thing? Based on what our friend here found out, he is going for the heart of the gods. Divine save us. He attacked the city to get the key of shelter. And he may now be going for the other keys as well. We have to get the keys before he does. If Ingvar is the hands of the gods, he will be immortal. We must stop him. I thought the Hulk was just a myth. A legend. So did I. But if he attacked Borval just to get the key, it must be real. The keys have purpose after all. Where can we get the other ones then? Some are more obvious than others. Yalma, come here. What is it, Agnar? Your necklace, please. You don't mean? Yes, my dear. Thank you. It was passed down to each generation of Borwaldur women, so that it would remain safe. So then, we have one key. Great, but what about the others? Well, Ingvar got the key of shelter from Borwald. The key of wealth was held in Stalgard, so count that one out. We have the key of leadership. So then all we need are the keys of wisdom and strength. Exactly. The question is, where are they? I think I may know where they are. The key of wisdom would be held by the court wizards. It should be in our old monastery, Karun. The key of strength was held by the Jorgenas. It was most likely locked in the crypts of Jorgenar Manor when they left. Ha! Then what are we waiting for? Let's get those keys. Very well. We'll split up to save time. Orlo, you come with me to Call Rune Monastery. Okay. And you two go to Jorgunner Manor. <laughs> yes, my Jarl. Um, is that it? I cannot move. Well, this is bad. Um. Okay, for whatever reason, sometimes at the end of that meeting, you get stuck in this chair and you can't get out. I suggest you quick save before you go into this meeting, and if you do get stuck, you just have to reload it, do it again, reload it, do it again. Sometimes it crashes throughout the meeting, too, with the game. 
It's a very buggy meeting, I suppose. Whatever it happens with mods, I don't really blame them. Stuff is hard to make as it is. So, you know, just be patient with it, and eventually it'll work. At least that's from my knowledge. There's no command codes I can find that would make this easier, because of how the quest is structured. But let's just talk to Agnor and finish up this episode. You must make a choice. Help Ulgar and Svegar get the key of strength from Hjorgunar Manor. Or help me and brother Thorlo get the key of wisdom from Kol Rune Monastery. Well, in the manor you will probably fight Draugr. So that will be best fit for those who favor melee weapons or bows. Kol Rune Monastery. I believe has been taken over by necromancers, so those who are inclined to magic would fare best against them. Then again, it probably does not matter. Good. Now go! We must beat Ingvar to those keys! Okay, so we completed that, and we started Strength of Wisdom. And it's been quite a long episode, a lot has happened, and I'm really excited to get into the next one. But I'd like to thank you guys for watching this episode, and of course, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.